Hey everyone, my name is Zeta Prime, and today I wish to share with you the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Tarantulas. So here he is in all of his madness. As first impressions go, this figure is just awesome. He's complete, the QC is on point, and the paint makes him just pop, especially when he's placed right next to his Predacon brethren. He handles really great, and for a collector or even a spider enthusiast, this guy seems to be a perfect fit to just have sitting on your desk or even to just have around as a fidget toy. Having that said, let's give you collectors some background information on this really good figure. In Transformers Fiction, Tarantulas was a character introduced in the Beast Wars continuity. His role as an evil Predacon was the Mad Scientist. The activation sequence has already begun. I must work fast. Upon crash landing on prehistoric Earth, he initiates the Predacon ship scanner, which provides the Predacons with their beast modes. While some of his comrades have prehistoric dinosaur modes, such as a Pteranodon, a T-Rex, or even just a Velociraptor, Tarantulas gifted himself the mode of a Tarantula. And throughout the rest of the series, Tarantulas follows the Predacon chain of command. However, he does spritz out some defiant actions here and there which will eventually lead up to his reveal to be an agent of the Tripredicus Council. Yes. How did you... Permit me to introduce Lieutenant Tarantulas of the Predacon Secret Police. <laughs> I would continue to provide more lore, however. I am short for time, and so having that said, let's get to the figure, shall we? Legacy Tarantulas was released in fall 2022 for the Transformers Legacy toy line. He converts in 19 steps and features a QR code on the back of the box, which brings you to his online tech specs. Tarantulas transforms to what seems to be a generic tarantula, and having no personal experience with arachnids, I called in my local expert Alpha One to provide more information on the species. Alpha One, the floor is yours. Hello! I've been studying creatures with an exoskeleton for over a decade now as a hobby. I may not be a professional, but I do enjoy entomology, or the study of arthropods. I suppose I should start with what even is a tarantula? Uh, they're typically big old fluffy spiders that crawled out of hell way before we did. There are more primitive than our modern spiders, making them not true spiders, but they are arachnids nonetheless. It gets a little complicated. With such a creative name like Tarantulas, you might come to assume that he is a Tarantula. And the fact that there's many purple Tarantulas in real life might confirm your suspicion, one of them being known as Pamphiobeta species Platyoma. Uh, however, if you're a stickler for accuracy, you would see many differences between the figure and the real life Tarantula. The fluff comes to my mind first. Being a robot, fur would be useless. However, to be a tarantula, you must have fluff of a certain length. The standard set for a tarantula would also include having a certain amount of spinnerets. Spinnerets are what's used to help the spider build webs. Spiders have around six. Uh, tarantulas typically have around two to four. Their webbing behavior also differs. Spiders make homes and traps out of their silk. Meanwhile, tarantulas would rather make a carpet and a bed. Calisaga longitarsis, or more commonly known as the false tarantula, might be a good candidate for comparison, but alas, tarantulas is trying to be a tarantula. It's incredibly difficult to figure out what he's close to. I mean, he has the eyes of a wolf spider, and a pattern similar to one, but his body type looks more like a female spider. But even then, that's hard for me to understand because his pedipalps are more scorpion, like, they're a mess. I guess the 90s didn't really care about accuracy. I mean, the so-called tarantula that they scanned in the show didn't even have a cephalothorax, a head and a thorax combined, meaning that it couldn't even be a spider nor an insect. It's more closely related to a Minecraft spider. But regardless of what the toys intended for their spiders to look like, it is a pretty accurate figure with all things considered. He's got two main segments, the eight legs, eight eyes, and a cool-looking spider form. I find it unfortunate that the 90s also didn't care about good color schemes, <laughs> so his robot form looks weird to me. With all that said, if spiders have piqued your curiosity at all, you can find a lot of information right here on YouTube. Snake Discovery, Exotic Slayer, Dark Den, and Tarantula Cat are great sources of information, visual and verbal. 
And thank you, Zeta Prime, for letting me talk about my obsession. Fantastic information. Thank you, Alpha One. Legacy Tarantulas costs today somewhere between $22.99 to about $24.99 upon release. And as of October 2022, this still remains to be the same. He was a part of Legacy Wave 2 and will probably be a part of Legacy Evolution Wave 3. So he's going to be relatively easy to get for a while. There is an occasional scammer price on eBay. However, if you can find this guy cheap, I do recommend you get this guy when you can. Two to three years time from now, he may go up in price and become harder to get, despite his current more available release. All right, let's get to the figure itself. The paint and sculpt is quite top notch for retail release. Most of the chassis looks like a real tarantula and has the fur that kind of accompanies a tarantula and feels real sturdy. The paint doesn't seem to want to chip except for the little stubble right here on his shin that just came that way out of the box. And the posability is virtually endless, all due to his several moderately firm joints. Let's get into articulation, shall we? Alrighty. So he's got a forward and back and a side to side on the ankles. Uh, he's got a double knee joint. He's got a, a thigh swivel, and then he's also got a, uh, a, a, a hip ball and swivel joint. He's got a forward hand and arm movement, I would have to say. Doesn't have much of a wrist swivel except for this, but that's just kind of part of this swivel part here. He's got that same kind of hinge ball looking joint up here with the shoulders. He's got a ball joint at the head. It, uh, it also swivels from side to side, however, it is a little bit rough. Um, he does have a waist swivel, and then of course each one of his little tiny uh, spider arms is all connected via a, uh, a ball joint up here. He's got this buzzsaw looking weapon that is actually quite interesting because this kind of pays homage to the Beast Wars Transmetals part of the series. I think that's like, what, season 3 maybe? And you can put that in the little tiny, uh five millimeter peg right here or hole and then bam he holds it like that and then he's got his almost uh, I believe this is kind of a grapple weapon that uh, they use in the show uh, both uh, Tarantulas and Black Arachnia have this same weapon and they use it as a, as a grapple gun rather than an actual gun gun and of course you know the five millimeter peg it goes into the five millimeter hole and then Bam, a Ruski. Uh, having that said, let's get on to the transformation, all right? After that relatively simplistic transformation, we have the tarantula mode. This looks fantastic. All the legs attached to the body move on those really nice ball joints. Even looking to the back of the figure, we have the two spinnerets that were made out of his knee guards, and that just makes the spider mode look all the more realistic. After handling this guy for the past few months, I've grown to really like him both as a figure and as a character. 
perfect for the Halloween special. And if you like to customize figures, then just buy two. I highly recommend this figure, and if you'd like to learn more about other Transformers figures, subscribe and click that bell icon to stay up to date with all of my videos. Comment and tell me which figures you'd like to see. This has been Zeta Prime, and I wish everyone a happy Halloween. You're not welcome here, partner. <laughs> yes! More meat, more materials. About time I go to the surface. <laughs>